reason why I went into psychiatric research was that I for many years had seen well-being people suddenly change into a depressive episode or into a manic episode. How can this happen? How can people who are like you and me, who are healthy, suddenly change completely? I want to go to try to find out what are the basic mechanisms behind this, these changes. So some of those things which I'm most proud of that we have revealed over the last years is the progressive cause of illness in bipolar disorder. We have over the last decade or so showed that bipolar disorder is more progressive, more deteriorating than we believed before. We have showed that the continued treatment with lithium for a long time reduces the risk of suicide, but more intriguing, in fact, it also seems to reduce the risk of developing dementia in the long run. By documenting this, we have also showed that this intervention has most often to be a combination of a pharmacological as well as a psychological intervention. What I really would like to discover in the years to come is some solid biomarkers for, for bipolar disorder. And of course you can ask, well, research is a long-term process. What makes me go on with that? It is the suffering I see from my patients when they suffer from depression. They stimulate me to try to, to do this better for these patients. To receive the NASAT Bipolar Disorder Mood Prize is a very great support for me and our research. It is also important that bipolar disorder is acknowledged as an important research area because research in bipolar disorder has not been prioritized in the same way as research in many other areas.